Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about how to create and use variables in robot framework using the Eclipse Red Robot Editor. So we will go very basic step by step and learn about creating and using variables. So variables are the elements. If I just have to define variables, I will say variables are elements that are used to store values which can be referred by other elements. So a very simple example if I say name equals Raghav here name is a variable and Raghav is the value of that variable. So in robot framework we have three types of variables we have scalar variables we have list variables and then we have dictionary variables and then we also have two other types which are environment now environment variables we cannot create we can just set or get the variables and then we also have some built-in variables in robot frameworks that you can use otherwise these are three variables that we can create and use so we will see what are these so scalar, scalar variable is a simple variable and we use the syntax dollar and curly braces variable name and curly braces end so if I take an example I will go to my Eclipse and this is the project that we have created in the earlier session robot project and this is the test suite that we had created earlier and I will go to the end and we also had created this simple login test in the earlier session and I will use some variables here so to create the variables you have to create a section for variables if you type variables and press control spacebar you will get this variables option so we have created a section for variables that has the header variables and here I can create variables so for a scalar variable I will say dollar and underscore sorry dollar and curly braces and I will say the name for example I say here URL and then with a tabbed space I will give the value so let us say for example in this open browser keyword I want to get this URL and this I will put in a variable so I will cut it from here and give this value to a variable here and then in the test in my keyword I can use this variable name so I just have to refer it with the same name that is dollar and in curly braces the variable name which is URL and I will save and let us try to run this test if I run this it should take URL from variables I will run this test uh, this is some problem let me just check this let me open the console yeah and let me run this again and this is running our test so it should open the browser chrome browser and yes it goes to the URL that means it is able to refer the variable so this is a scalar variable and then we have list variable now in list variable we use the syntax at and then curly braces and then the variable name and then with tapped spaces we can give the items so for example I can say item 1 item 2 and so on so I can give multiple items because this is going to be a list so let me also highlight these and all these notes will be available to you and I will also highlight this one so let us see an example of a list variable I will go back to my variable section and here I will say at and I will say a variable name called credentials and here I am going to give values for example I will use a I will give the username here that we have used here in our test case and I will also give the password here so I can now refer this values in my test case and to refer I will say for example I have to refer admin here in my test case I will say at I'm going to use the same thing here the same syntax so I will copy it from here and paste it here and to refer to the first element that is admin I will say I will give a square brackets 
and in the square brackets I will give the index position so in the index position starts from 0 and I want to refer the very first element that is at 0 index so I will say 0 here and this is how you can see we can refer the variable and let us try to run this I will do a right click and run this and this should take admin in the username text box so it opens the chrome browser and yes it takes admin so that means it is working fine so we are able to create and refer the list variable the third variable is dictionary variable and the syntax here is we use and and curly braces and then we give the variable name and then we have key value pairs so we have like a key and its value so we can have multiple pairs so this is key 1 and its value v1 we can have key 2 and value v2 and so on so this is how we create and use a dictionary variable let us see an example I will create a dictionary variable here I will say and and in curly braces I will give the variable name so let me say this is a login data and then I will give the key and value so for example I will say username equals admin and I will say password equals admin123 so now I have to refer let us say I have to refer this password here in place of this password in my test case so I will use this and login data I'll copy it from here and paste it here and to refer password I will just say in curly braces sorry in uh, square brackets I have to give a square brackets to refer and then I will say the key which is password so this is how I will refer the dictionary variable let us try to run this again I will save and right click and run this and this should take our password and yes it locks in so that means the password is being referred properly here so this is how you can create and refer these three variables now we also have environment variables so environment variables are the inbuilt variables of your system so for example if I go to my command line and I say echo percentage username percentage so this gives me the user currently logged in which is administrator and then if I say echo percent OS percent it gives me the name of the operating system so I can use this in my test so I can say here log and I will say this test was executed by now to refer the environment variables the syntax is percent and then in curly braces the name of the variable so I will say by percent username and on percent OS so this should give me the message this test was executed by the username so that is administrator on OS that is Windows NT so if I save this and run this again let us see the output so this runs our test case now and goes to the browser logs in logs out and that's it if I go to the console so everything is okay if I open the report from here I will copy this go to a browser and see the report and everything is fine if I go to the logs I will expand the test suite and the test and here this is what we logged and you can see it has logged this was executed by administrator on Windows NT so this is how you can also access the environment variables and then there are some built-in variables in robot framework so if you go to the robot framework website let me just go to robot framework and here is robotframework.org that is the official website and here you will find a link for documentation which will be a user guide so if I go to this documentation link here 
so this is a user guide which has all the documentation or let me just uh, search for robot framework user guide and we'll get a link for the user guide and yes it is here so if I go here you can see we have all the information about robot framework here and if I search for built-in so you can see there are built-in variables here and we have this 2.6.4 section for built-in variables and we have these variables so you can use these variables like C-U-R-D-I-R to get the directory where you are located or the file is located then T-M-P-D-I-R, E-X-E-D-I-R and then if you go a little more down you will find some more variables for example you can get the test name by this variable dollar test name you can get the tags you can get the documentation and so on about your test all the information you can get from here on these all these variables so this is how you can use all these variables and i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching